Mini me, mini who, mini she. That child can't be older than two or three. Yet there she toddles in shoes meant for teens. Kitten heels and anklets, no socks to her knees. I blame the parents, bright stars and MTV. Cause images and sounds often disturb me. Six year old girls playing groups of two and three. Singing don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me. It used to be fun to dress like our mums. We'd stare in the mirror with towels on our buns. Lipstick strewn faces, innocent and pure. But no mascara for us though, that was going too far. Earrings and necklaces hung from our parts. Hairbrushes for Max as we sang out our hearts. We wanted to be Whitney and dance with somebody. But we made do with sisters and friends we called family. Afro puffs, ribbons, braids and Alice bands. Granny and mummy could do wonders with their hands. Our hair always looked pretty. The ribbons matched our clothes. Stocking foots worn to bed to keep neat afros. After the games, the stilettos and the dresses would return to our age. Buckle twos, tights and sweaters. Care bear tops, leggings, tracksuits and trainers. Two balls up the wall and hopscotch entertained us. Now, praying from delivery and the first sight of texture, her baby would have good hair, just like her father. Pressing hot combing, relaxing her crown. No time for plaiting, she's going out on the town. Synthetic plaits adorn her toddler's scalp, causing her to itch and to shout. Her words of comfort barely decrease it. Leave it alone, come here, let me grease it. A five-year-old beautiful, natural nappy fled, destroyed by images of mum's fake flowing hair. Weave down her back, extensions galore. What about the afro does she so deplore? Why does the woman dress her teen's hair with chemicals and treatments that burn and sit? Not fit for her skin, so latex she wears, all the while her daughter grins and bears. Fake acrylic nails and chemical solutions. Technicians wear masks to protect them from the pollution. Fumes up her nose, eyes itch and smart. Airbrush designs, French polish, stars and hearts. Ladies, my Nubian queens, where is the self-love to teach our teens? When you look in the mirror with your hand on your heart, you should realise beauty was there from the start. We've been fed bare lies, been told enough untruths. Looking like a natural black woman does not make you uncouth. It makes you a queen, which some people fear. For them business, I don't care. Fathers, take responsibility too. Remember back when it was just the two of you, slow jams and grinding, pillow talk and fighting. Nine months down the line, fatherhood's now your time. Nurture her, take an interest in her life. Teach her self-esteem to walk tall with pride. Your input's required for the duration of the journey. Instilling her, use her mind, not her booty. Fatherhood is full, not part-time caring. Pay attention to what your daughter is wearing. Her milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. But do you know if she has to charge? Teen pregnancy is every parent's nightmare. But have you taught her to have sex and take care? Her body is a temple, her nani is special. So why the abortion for the second time this year? Brothers, sisters, what the hell is going on? When and where did it all go so wrong? Your examples are ingested by the seeds that you've created. So let's raise our girls with class and give mini queens a fighting chance.